Hey everyone, it's Kim and I am here today to share with you my design team project for uh, Kitty Scrap Post, um, Luisa Diaz's store, and she sells digital papers, amazing digital papers, I have to say. Like I tell you, every month, each month she comes out with something new, something fabulous, something amazing. I just can't even believe it every month. So this month I chose to work with her ATC Painted Lady set instead of a full um, paper line because I had been inspired by something I saw on Pinterest with these colors and I'm sure you saw the pictures in the beginning that I had made a banner um, but I was inspired by the whole look of rust and patina and copper and what happens to copper when it oxidizes and things like that so I was inspired by that and I wanted these hearts in the banner to look like they were made of um, like copper tin so that's where my inspiration point came from, and these beautiful uh, black and white images of the painted ladies with their little daughters. Um, she has this out for Mother's Day, so mother and daughter, which, of course, you know, I have two daughters, and it's very close to my heart, so it was really fun to do this, and um, I love these colors together, so um, the black and white images really lent themselves to what I was inspired by. So let me get started and I will share with you what I've done. So we'll start at the beginning and um, this is just um, a chipboard mini album that I got from Michaels is what this is and um, I was really inspired by the shape of it here. I love the scallop edge. Um, I didn't hang anything from it because I have two cats and they will jump and attack it. So, because <laughs> I want to hang this up in my hallway because this will match the colors in my house and uh, my cats will attack it. So anyway, <laughs> that's why I didn't hang anything from the bottom. Dangling things and cats don't work. Um, but anyway, I think it still turned out good and I just attached it with some vintage seam binding and this is some uh, tool that I have in my stash which is a light blue color so I thought it would work well. And so what I did was a bunch of mixed media on each of the hearts, and they're all the same. I painted them this Americana um, turquoise color. Um, it's called Dark Turquoise. Um, so I gave them a coat of gesso each and then two coats of the turquoise. And then I started with my mixed media. I used um, the chevron stencil there with some uh, texture paste. And then I've used my Gilder's paste. And if you guys don't have this stuff, I'm telling you, it's fantastic. This is the rust one. And the other one that I used was the patina. I love this stuff. Um, let me open this for you and let me show you the color. There's the patina, and yes, it's cracked, but it doesn't matter. It still works. To me, it's kind of like shoe polish. That's what it reminds me of. So if you grew up, you know, in the 60s and 70s like I did, um, you'll remember your dad using shoe polish, and that's what it's like. But, I mean, I've used this tons, and I've hardly even made a dent in it. Um, but this stuff is great. It comes in tons of different colors. So that's what I used a lot of on the background because those were the two colors I was getting my inspiration from. And of course I did some embossing with some rust embossing powder and things like that. So really whatever goes for mixed media in your, your um, design idea is what I did in the background. And then I started layering some laces and stuff. Each picture um, I used uh, from Luisa's uh, Painted Ladies set, um, I kind of used as my jumping point and my inspiration for the embellishments. And I used words on each that I thought sort of matched the picture. Um, so over here I used some beautiful trim from Craft Supplies 1 in this really bright turquoise color. And I tried really to stay true with the turquoise and copper and rust colors. Um, I used this lace here from Shabalicious and then some wood pieces from my stash which I painted with the Martha Stewart copper uh, metallic paint and then put some of the Gilder's Paste Patina over top of that. The lace here and all this gold lace is from the Lace Mama on Etsy. And then the flowers here I've added from my stash and one of Craft Supplies one. Um, metal uh, butterflies and again I just painted it with the Martha Stewart metallic paint and uh, added a flower and a bit more of the Gilder's paste and I think that the it framed the picture nicely because the frame really or the the picture is really the focal point here so I think it worked out well you can really it really shows off the uh, the vintage ladies so that's that one and really they're all the same um, 
They're just decorated slightly different. All of the backgrounds are done the same way, just, you know, slightly different styles. But uh, really, I just wanted them to be pretty much exactly the same. And then I've just added more lace and more flowers and keys from my stash, anything that looked vintage. This was a white butterfly here, and um, I took some of the Rusty Hinge Distress ink and just went over it with that, and it gave this really cool color that kind of matched the uh, the lace I have on here. Um, this flower um, was from Louisa when we were getting um, uh, DT kits in the mail, and I still had it, and I was hanging on to it because I loved the color, and I never found anything right for it, and this was the perfect project for it. And then here I have, of course, the beautiful uh, mother and daughter image from the Painted Lady set, and then I used the sentiment of Forever Young. And then here on the third piece, another gorgeous, gorgeous image of a mother looking down at her daughter, and I put singing sparrows because uh, it just looks like she's going to sing softly something to her mother or her mother singing to her. That's just what that reminded me of. Um, and again, more flowers, the same mixed media techniques you can see in the background. And then I went around the edges with the Gilder's paste, a little doily here from Craft Supplies 1, and a uh, metal piece for my stash that I just went over with the Gilder's paste, the rust and the patina. And this is a little um, vintage carriage button from my stash, and flowers. So basically I was just framing these amazingly beautiful images of Luisa's here. I just love them. And then finally, last but not least, I've, I've done this one on the end here. Um, this is a, I think this is from Michael's, and I just um, embossed it with some bronze embossing powder, and then went over it again with the Gilder's paste, and then peeking out here is some lace from Shabalicious Flowers. And this one says Happy Dreamer, because the mother here looks so dreamy. Um, just sort of looking off. She actually, to me, and I'm going to age myself, she looks like a young Elizabeth Taylor, so anybody who's my age will know what I mean, but she does to me look like a young Elizabeth Taylor. <laughs> um, and then more of the beautiful gold trim and another key from my stash and flowers just to frame these amazingly beautiful ladies. And then on the end I've just got more of my tool and more of the vintage seam lining which I've just glued to the back. So this is going to hang up in my hallway. I think it's really pretty. I love, love, love these images of these beautiful ladies from uh, Louisa's shop, and she um, she has a, this is the third painted lady set that she's got out. There's two other ones, so you guys definitely need to check these out. These are perfect if you love making ATCs, because um, they're the right size for an ATC, um, and you can, um, like, Mod Podge them onto a card or something, and then decorate them, so it, it kind of takes... Um, I think they'd be beautiful just made into ATCs, but I wanted to do something a little different. So this is what I came up with this month, and I hope you guys like it. I had so much fun with this. Love doing the mixed media stuff, and of course Luisa's beautiful, gorgeous images every month are so inspiring to me. So please go and check out uh, Kitty Scrap Post. Um, you'll find some beautiful, beautiful images full paper lines, everything there. There's tons of really good stuff, and I'm going to put the link to her store down below. And, uh, yeah, so that's it for now, and happy Mother's Day coming up soon to all the moms out there, and I will talk to you guys very, very soon. Take care, everybody. Bye!